Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, you might be wondering why I'm over here. Um, <clears throat> so. I realized that there was something I was forgetting, and that is, I, I forgot to evolve Zachary. Now you might be wondering how you evolve, uh, Gulliran Linoon into, uh, into, uh, Obstagoon. And it is just to level it up at night, after 35. So this entire time I could have been having an obstacle in my party, but I've been ignoring it. So shame on me, I guess. Let's learn Obstruct. What exactly is this move? Because it's a, it's his signature move, and I do not actually know what it does. User enables... This move enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if used in succession. Direct contact harshly lowers the attacker's defense stat. So it's basically a... So it's basically a parry. Um... You know what? Let's not have Swift. I like Swift because of its, um, it's like, oh yeah, it's got stars because it's got the star on its face. But like, it, it's not really that useful. Okay. Now with that out of the way, let's... There we go. Let's, uh... Let's boost up the experience on Meowth as well, because... Because Martin's been lagging behind everyone. Nasty plot? Nope. Okay. Now the only thing left is... The ones that are still at level 40. Oh. Yeah. He's starting to, uh, falter. Um... It's sad, but I don't really feel a need to use. Uh, the normal type Pokemon as much. I like having them, and it is important to have that dark Pokemon on, on my team just in case. Well, in my... Well, I say team, but just like a sports team, you're only really sending out a few at a time. Um... Okay. There you go. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, hey, Hop. Got that gym badge on it. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. Been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and, and the Sword and Shield Pokemon. Still no luck. Hey, wait a second. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you about that. I saw this earlier. No way, what's this? Another tapestry, clearly. You always look sad. And where are the sword and shield? What's the meaning of this picture? Oh. Those are tombstones. Oh. 
perhaps when their duty was completed, they went to some kind of sleep. An eternal sleep that they never woke up from. <laughs> Based on those pictures we saw back on Stone Side, the sword and shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? You think it, it could have been one of them? Wait, you met them? Come on, you might know what I'm talking about, right, Anna? You mean the one in the wield? Exactly. The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right. You lost been in the sleeping wield. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this turned out to be too much fun. I've got to tell... you got to tell me some more. How about we discuss over a meal? Ah, uh, we finally get to eat. Fascinating. Alright. Next thing to do, now that we're done eating, is to have a look around Shearstar. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Well, they did have those reliefs on the side of it, so... Wait, is that actually the right reason? Uh, yeah. A relief in sculptural technique is where sculpted elements remain attached to the solid background of a of the same material. So yeah, those would be stone reliefs. Huh. Okay. Hero's Bath. They say this is where the two heroes come to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon who really use the only Pokemon really use the hero's baths, though. Hmm, not exactly where the heroes that bathed here. I think I'll have look into that. You two met the mysterious Pokemon back in Slumbering Wield. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. Huh. Well, I like some hero waving around a sword and shield. Pull the other one. Though I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? When we show her, Anna, we can pull off a real heroic battle. Sure, why not? So you treated us to a great meal. For that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle of, of beware. I don't exactly understand your reasoning, but I might as well see what you can do. I'll heal your Pokemon up too, so give it your best. I already healed it though. Time for an exhibition match. Starting the future champion. Yeah, it's me, Hop. Don't worry, it's okay. You're you're a side character. You'll you'll figure it out eventually. Counting on you, partner. Let's go Rock Smash. Fair. Oh, that's a proper move. I, I think the gym leader should have had a thing where it's like... Where if you did a super effective move for the first on their uh, on their headliner, they should uh, they should actually like have a line as well. Because I think they have one for a crit, but I don't think they have one like like Hop does for every single time you do a super effective move.
Okay, that took a while, but there it goes. Okay. Ow. Pincursion. I have no idea what the typing of that is. Well, I might as well go into it. Electric. Hmm. Let's go Steel Wing. Critical hit, though. Steady on, partner. I feel your pain. We'll get them back for that. Yeah, we took him out. <laughs> I was like, oh man, it would be a shame if I actually had something to combat you. Like, throwing out Frederick over here. Send it a Corviknight. Uh, I removed. Now why the heck would I remove uh, one of uh, one of my electric types? Like I have two electric type Pokemon. I have neither on my party. Wait. One second. Doesn't. Uh, deal. It is. Uh, yeah. For some reason, I'm like, wait, it's steel. Doesn't it remove the? Re uh, doesn't it? Doesn't it remove its um weakness to electricity? It's like, no, it removes the elect um its resistance. To rock. Oh. I'm gonna just be sing over here, clicking a bunch of stuff. Click, click, click. Um. Okay. Makes sense. Inteleon. At least I kept my grass type. Tearful look? Sure. Did not help. Send out Snorlax.
Might, might as well switch back to Frederick because he has the fit, uh, fighting type moves. Think you got me cornered? Not even close. This will be my greatest comeback. Uh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do Rock Smash into Brick Break. Okay, I thought he was gonna heal and go into rest. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to back out. Whoops. Uh, I must have just pressed it wrong. Oh well. Awkward to make sure I go first. There we go. Uh, no. Oh, I still can't even beat you, my true rival. But I think I'm starting to see the light. Thanks. You two give a right proper battle. At this rate, you're um you're both going. Even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So by the next you two, I plan to look into things in the sleeping wheel. I'm gonna keep challenging that gym. Then once I get um that gym, I'm gonna be heading for Route Nine and take on Spike Mouth. Seems he finally shook off that gloom. Leon would worry if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like to see it either. Right? Well, see ya. Hmm. Does he heal my Pokemon after that? No, of course not. Okay. There you go. Now purchase more items. I think it's the super potion that I get? Oh well. Not like I actually use super po um sorry, super repels. Okay, so uh, the next route that we're going to go down, uh, the only thing I'm kind of even remotely worried about is trying to get the Pokemon that are in that route. Hmm, Fisherman. Being a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. You were challenged by Fisher Harriet. I like that, that was cute.
Um, it's nothing good from. The team I had, so I'm gonna switch over the Grant. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have wasted a turn with grassy terrain. Ah. Uh. Sorry. <sighs> That's usually the sign of you probably shouldn't be recording. Uh. Yeah, definitely the end of this one. The end of this uh, episode will be the end of my recording session. Lantern. Um, I'll oh, keep going. There you go. Oh, stronger one always wins. How simple. Got it. Wild Quillfish. Um, let's... Throw a quick ball at it. Okay, cool. I'm actually really happy about that. Nope. Send a box. Jellison. Okay, fair enough. Right, it's ghost type. <laughs> I was like, what can I use? And I was like, oh, I should probably use the uh, fighting type move. And I'm like, no. In the back of my head, I was like, 
Why? What? What's wrong with it? Grass is like a little heart. Max potion. Male Jellicent. It's got burning red eyes and it creeps me out. Okay. Ah, so close. Okay, that's fair. It's quite the bit of Pokemon that are in that patch of grass. Um, I'm not gonna be able to continue the episode. I don't want to, like, accidentally fall asleep in the middle of it again. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I'll probably go through that grass and try to catch the Pokemon I can. But, um, and I will see you guys when I complete that task. Goodbye.